What's up guys, I'm back again in Jack Payne the Shark. And today I'm gonna teach you how to do a back handspring, but keep it a secret, I'm teaching you a way that it has never been taught before. If you wanna learn a back handspring, you don't have mats or a gym to go to, this is how you're gonna learn it real quick. Five minutes, check it. All right, the first step in learning on how to do a back handspring without mats is you gotta be able to stand up. Okay, if you can stand up, then you can probably, then you can probably do this. The first step is I got my feet about shoulder width apart. Okay, proper technique for gymnastics or cheerleading. They're gonna tell you to keep your feet together. You can do that. I got my feet apart. I always do stuff different. I'm the oddball out, whatever. Okay, so I got my feet apart like this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach behind me. Okay, a back handspring. You wanna sit with your chest up. That's how you start. You swing your arms. They go right over your head. Yes, over your head. They don't go to the side. So it's really scary to learn the process of getting your arm straight over your head when you've never flipped upside down. So this is how you're gonna learn it without mats. So you're gonna start facing forward. What you're gonna do is your arms have to touch the ground and then your feet touch the ground again. So let's replicate that without going over our head. The first thing we're gonna do is reach right beside us and hop back to your feet in that position. Yes, I know it looks like Smeagol crawling on the ground for the ring in Lord of the Rings, all right? But this is how you're gonna learn it, I promise. So, again, feet are shoulder width apart. We're gonna jump a little bit more vertical over our shoulder. That time we went straight to the side by our knee. We're gonna go between our hip and our shoulder. Okay, right here, ready? So you're gonna reach and jump. Ooh. Notice how I went really slow in the beginning so I could spot where my hands were gonna land and I wasn't uncoordinated. Okay, the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna jump a little bit more vertically. Now, if you haven't caught on by now, each time we actually go more and more vertical until you've actually gone straight over your head like the proper back handspring. This time we have our feet shoulder width apart again. Okay, I'm gonna jump and reach right over my shoulder, not quite over my head yet, but over my shoulder. And notice each time gets a little more and more vertical, we'll get over our head in a second. So we're here, we're gonna look over the shoulder so we can spot where we're going on the ground. Okay, because you want to see where you're going. And we're going to jump. Oh, yeah. That was a lot closer. That was almost a back handspring already. Okay, if you've gotten that far, you can basically do the back handspring. The next step is confidence. You have to trust that if you reach your arm straight over your head, the ground is greener on the other side. You're actually going to land with your hands on the ground and not your face. Okay, so what you're going to do, this time we're going to go straight over our head. So we were going by our knee, by our hip, by our shoulder, now we're going over the cranium. First, you're gonna start with your chest up. Your feet can be together, they can be slightly apart. Doesn't matter, whatever makes you feel more comfortable. Okay, the next thing you're gonna do is as you bend your legs, your arms are gonna go behind you. That's the best way I can explain it. So if you're standing here and there's a basketball goal, insert there, and you wanna jump up and grab it, what are you gonna do? When anyone jumps, what they normally do is they bend their legs and reach behind them. Any basketball player, any normal athlete that is jumping, that's how you jump. You bend your legs, put your arms behind you, and then as you jump up, everything straightens out. Well, back handsprings are no different. It's the exact same thing. You're gonna jump and act like you're reaching for that basketball goal, but this time your elbows are right by your ears. Your hands are gonna hit the ground. Your body's gonna take the impact through your shoulders. Okay, so we're gonna go for it. So we have our chest up, arms here. We're gonna bend. That was lit, all right? This time, I'm gonna do it a little bit slower. Feeling like a grandma back handspring, okay? If you wanna speed it up a little bit, we can get that faster back handspring. That's where you start dabbling around with your technique to create power for skills we're gonna teach you after this, like flicking your fingers and pulling your toes through in the back handspring. If you see that big flick, that's how you're gonna get power to add skills to your back handspring. So that's the secret way to learn my back handspring. Most people have to go to a gymnastics gym, they have to go to a cheerleading gym. You can learn this in your backyard, in your living room, you can learn it in your bedroom. You don't have to leave your house. Just make sure you follow those steps and keep up with our next skills and you'll end up better than me one day. I need to watch out, y'all better catch up, ready? <laughs>